G'day, my name's Jonathan and I'm from Dawson Heading and Cooling. We're all very aware of the hazard that comes with the smoke generated from the bushfires around Australia at the moment. And we often get asked in our business, what's the best way to operate the home air conditioning or cooling system while the smoke is lingering around from the fires? Although an air conditioner is not made to purify the air, the design does offer some air filtering capabilities. We all know the obvious things, such as keeping windows and doors closed, sealing up your home as much as possible. But what actions can you take with your air conditioner or cooling system to minimise or reduce the smoke and airborne particles that have entered into your home? I'd firstly suggest you switch your air conditioner on to ensure the circulation of the air through your home. This applies to ducted air conditioners, wall mounted split systems and any system that recirculates the air within your home. This does not apply on homes with any type of system that introduces fresh air directly into your home from outside. Even if you don't need the system on cooling mode, you can leave it on fan only mode, it may, which, which will make sure that any particles in the air are continually circulated throughout your home and picked up in your filters. On a ducted system, the air filters are commonly located within the return air grill or in the ceiling or the back of the indoor unit. On a split system, the filters are actually located behind the little front cover, which is very easy to access. No traditional style filter will completely remove the smoke or the microscopic particles, but they will help reduce and trap some of the airborne particles that have entered into your home. Remember to keep the filters clean regularly to maximise the, filter, the filter's ability to do its job. Unfortunately, most commercial air conditioners will operate with a minimum fresh air being introduced from outside. The purpose of this is to remove any contaminants that originate from out inside the building. During times with excessive smoke and airborne dust, it is recommended that you close or reduce the fresh air to ensure that this dirty air is not introduced into the building. If you have an evaporative cooling system, they operate using 100% outside air, which is introduced into the home and pushes the internal air out through your doors and windows. Although the filter pads in an evaporative cooler will catch a portion of the smoke and dust particles, a large amount of, that, of the um, smoke will still enter into your home. The other negative effect of this design of evaporative cooling is that you, you do need to have your doors and windows open for the system to operate effectively. Where there is smoke in the outside air, this can easily be pushed back into your home. There is no other way to keep smoke out of your home other than turning your evaporative cooling system off. If the hot weather forces you to operate the evaporative cooler, you must ensure the water supply is turned on, as the water in the pads plays a big role in the filtration of the airflow before it enters into your home. If the water is off, then no filtration takes place at, and the smoky air will enter, into your, and dis, will enter into your ductwork and be distributed through your home. Please also keep in mind that if a fire is close to your home, you need to ensure it remains, your evaporative cooler remains switched off at the controller to reduce any risk of embers or sparks from entering into your ductwork and potentially causing fire within your home. Another alternative option for those of you who can't, afford, who can't switch on your evaporative cooler or if you don't have a cooling system at all, if you have a ducted gas heater which contains a return air filter, you can operate the system on fan only mode. This means the system will not heat, but instead the fan will run continuously and circulate air through the filters to help improve the indoor air quality. Ultimately, if you have allergies or you suffer from any respiratory problems, a simple but more expensive way to clean the air within your home is to purchase an air purifying filter. Air purifiers are the only device that will effectively remove smoke particles from the, from the air that, is, that has entered into your home. Hopefully, you're not being too affected by the ongoing smoke in the air and make sure you stay safe during the fire season. Thank you for watching and have a great day.